Hello, everybody. It's Ballet at Brand. I'm not going to make this a super frequent thing where I sing to people on their birthdays because it's just not necessary. But two of the people that I had to was Hexologist, and then today is Richard Hart. So today is Richard Hart's birthday. He's 42. Um, I want to show you guys a website that you can use and that you can show other people if everyone is ever curious about who is Richard Hart, where did he come from, what is his background, what's his history, etc. We'll get into that and then we'll just uh, sing happy birthday real quick. So this is the website. It's uh, Wikitia, so an encyclopedia by verified editors. So, you know, Richard Hart's, his last name is not Hart, it's Schuler. But you can see born October 9th, 1979, serial entrepreneur. You can see all of his uh, credentials and things like this. You can see his career, personal life. So we all know that Richard went to a like advanced school when he was very young. They pulled him out and said, you know, you're too smart for, you know, all of these normies. We're going to put you in this advanced school. So it kind of goes over the M-E-G-S-S-S -S -S that, uh, that he was taught when he was really young. So that's pretty cool. Goes to show his uh, his career, you know, personal life. You can see the YouTube videos, things like this, and then we've got the verification of the links and things like that. Okay, so that's the website that I wanted to show you. I'll uh, I'll do the happy birthday, and then uh, I'll show you just a couple of of other things to say, like why Richard has changed my life. You know, kind of my experience. I've I've shared this before. Uh, found him in 2017 in March 2017. But I want to get into a little bit more who Richard Hart really is, because he's more than just a, you know, crypto founder, and he's more than just someone that had uh, raised funds via Pulse Chain sacrifice, uh, twenty-seven million dollars to uh, to a life longevity charity. He's more than that, and so I want to talk about that in just a minute. Um, but we're gonna sing Happy Birthday. So once again, Happy Birthday, Richard. I uh, hope you have a good one. Hope you uh, get all the pulses desired. And, uh, you know, we're really excited to see you doing this, this little Europe, Europe tour and just everything that you're doing, man. It's really inspiring. You know, someone like yourself has inspired me to be healthier, to, you know, stop drinking um, and, and just be a better person, right? And so it's really cool that not only is he the founder of Hex, which has made crypto fun again, but it's also made a lot of new millionaires and just a lot of people wealthy that never thought that they would be able to get out of the rut that they were uh, at that time in life currently. So without further ado, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Richard. Happy birthday to you. So once again, man, hope you have a wonderful birthday. And once again, I want to get into who the hell is Richard Hart? Because a lot of people, when he got into the space in uh, 2017, when he actually showed his face before he was under anonymous accounts and was in crypto since 2011, but, you know, publicly started doing it in 2017, a lot of people said, who the hell is this guy, right? What, why does this guy think he's, uh, you know, qualified to talk about Bitcoin in all these different ways? And we found out that you know, Richard is a, a one of a kind, and I kind of want to get into that. So his first videos that I ever saw on YouTube, I'm going to show uh, show and share with everyone, were, uh, were the first videos I ever saw. Once again, I found him in uh, March of 2017, and it was actually due to someone saying they were, they were talking bad about Richard, and everything that I've always experienced was that, hey, don't take one person's word for something. Like, don't take it as, uh, as fact and as truth. You know, verify that with multiple different sources and, and verify it yourself so you have an accurate representation if you're going to talk about that person in the future. So when I was verifying if Richard was a scammer or not, as the Litecoin maximalist was saying, uh, I realized, oh my gosh, you know, and I, I saw these videos. And so we can look at his very first video was, you know, make better men and make better women, uh, you know, talking about dimorphism. Everyone doesn't have to be the same, right? Everyone's good at their their uh, unique traits and built differently. Uh, so once again, that's the second video as well. He talks about his politics, right? So not just the left and right paradigm, which is like one side versus the other, but having multiple different layers and how you can have nuance 
if you are going to talk about politics or what your beliefs are, things like that in regard, how you can almost have it be like a sandwich, right? A sandwich doesn't have just lettuce and tomatoes. It's got, you know, many, many different layers. So he talks about that as well, how you can be specific and how you can not just say you're on one side and then alienate a person that's on the other side. Cause it's more than just, you know, red or blue. It's, it's a lot more than that. So this is the one that really, really showed me, okay, this guy is very unique. So not only this self-help stuff, which is awesome, but when I saw that, okay, this guy, you know, the reason I searched about him was because he's into crypto, he's an OG, things like that. And then he starts saying that trading destroys your health, your relationships, uh, your money, things like that. And it really got me uh, asking a whole bunch of questions because at the time, the people that I were following in 2017, I was buying like trading courses and I thought that, hey, trading is the way to be successful, right? I'm not a day trader, but I'm a swing trader in crypto. And so long story short, that video was super profound and it really broke my paradigm because I always knew things like gambling were, were never of an, they were never an interest of mine, but trading was, and I didn't realize that, hey, trading is a different form of gambling. They're all kind of the same thing, but just, you know, a little bit different of a scenario. Okay. So that's Richard's early videos. He talks about how to give an apology. Uh, we'll probably see that in, okay. Yeah, right here. So how to give an apology and save relationships. So for people that don't know, Richard, he actually has like a master's practitioner in like neuro-linguistic programming. And the person himself, Richard, he, he did a lot of uh, Tony Robbins courses, right? He's done all of the courses and he's pretty much done the, the whole path of like self-help and, and how to be a better person. And so for how much flack he gets from people that clearly don't know much about him or clearly want to defame and slander him, uh, it's, it's pretty cool to see how much information he has that refutes that slander and refutes you know people that are talking bad because at the end of the day it doesn't matter what his appearance is what he you know likes and and the, the social signaling thing he he actually explains it in detail why he's doing this and he explains to people why he has certain points of view and why he wants to you know if he if he's debating an argument why he feels this way as opposed to that way he gives his logic and the other thing is he also updates his worldview when I was following him in early 2017, he was a Bitcoin maximalist and he realized, okay, you know, this Ethereum currency that came out, cryptocurrency, it wasn't very good at the beginning, but then they got better. And instead of just, you know, blinding himself and pretending like that wasn't happening, he updated his worldview and said, hey, I'm wrong. You know, how can I update my worldview and, and see that something like Ethereum is actually better than Bitcoin? And so that's, that's really uh, brave and it's really you know, humbling to, to be able to do that, to admit that you're wrong and to be able to just move on from it. Because that shows me that, Hey, you know, this person, he talks confidently, he knows what he's doing. He's got experience, but he's willing to learn from others. He's willing to uh, constantly keep learning. And that's the, you know, true power of a, a person that knows what they're doing. A person who's a leader, you have to be able to listen to multiple points of view and just be able to keep, uh, keep growing. Right. So that's Richard. That's who he is. He, uh, before even, even his YouTube channel and things like this, and before Hex and all of that, he wrote a book called SciVive, right? And it's uh, t.me slash uh, S-C-I-V-I-V-E. -I -I -E. It's a free book that he wrote while he was traveling the world. And while he had just retired and traveling the world for five years, he wrote a book on longevity, right? How to be healthier and, and why you should want to be healthier. And so it's really awesome because Richard, he's, uh, he's achieving, you know, everything that he's, he's wanted to. And obviously there's still work to be done, but the guy, you know, he's just one person and he's inspired so many people, myself included. And that really has a huge network effect. And that really has a huge ripple, right? If you have a pond and you have a drop of water, well, Richard is that drop of water that, you know, the one drop that then ripples out and, you know, multiple different uh, ripples and, and just effects. So he's done that with Hex and now he's doing it with Pulse Chain. He's creating the largest airdrop that the world has ever seen. And it's going to be a, a really cool thing. You can also go to uh, richardhart.com. It's very nice and convenient that he has his own, you know, .com for his name. That way people can see who he is. The first thing it says is Richard Hart is a force for good in this world. And it's not just talk, right? You you see the, the book that I had mentioned, right? The Sci-Vive. 
how to stop drinking, smoking, gaming, gambling. Richard was gaming for over 10 years and had a big gaming addiction. I had a big gaming addiction for about seven years too. And same thing, it you know, was consuming my life and that was all I was doing. And so it's awesome to see that, hey, you know, you can improve your life, you can still have fun, you can still have achievements, but you can actually have a big impact on the world instead of just consuming and in not being productive. So once again, he, uh, he helped people that were Bitcoiners uh, mint millions of dollars worth of free hex that, uh, that had Bitcoin at that time and that claimed their free Bitcoin, uh, their, their, their hex with their, you know, their Bitcoin. Uh, so once again, it talks about uh, the airdrops, right? He had recommended uh, Uniswap and then he had recommended Tornado.cash. And then he had talked about uh, One Inch, things like that. And all three of those had big, big, big airdrops that Hexagons got and they got millions and millions of dollars for free just because he was, you know, on the cutting edge. He was making sure that, hey, this is legit before I talk about this and before I recommend this and want my uh, viewers to use it, I want to make sure this is legitimate. And so Richard, uh, he does that. And it's awesome to see because a lot of people, they, they used Uniswap a year later, a year and a half later, and they don't realize that someone like Richard had a really profound impact. And same thing with tornado.cash, right? Anonymity is something that should be a right. And especially when you go into the digital world, you don't have a lot of the rights that you do in the physical. And so Richard and Vitalik and a lot of other people that you can actually verify uh, donated to the, uh, to the actual tornado.cash project and made sure it was audited and made sure that it was legitimate for, uh, for security. So it's, uh, it's really cool because once again, in a world where everyone is trying to you know, be your enemy, right? They're trying to get you wrecked. They're trying to shield you links. Someone like Richard really just wants to help out. And I say that because for, for someone of his success and with his kind of wealth and experience that he has, you know, he could just screw off and, and never be on the internet again, never make another YouTube video again, but he's not doing that. He wants a, he wants to leave a legacy and he wants to help other people with the information that he has, right? He's, he's literally a, a member of the Mensa foundation and not foundation, but he's a member of like the Mensa society, which is like a really high IQ. And it's like the, the top two percentile in the world. And uh, only like the really, really smart people get into that. And someone like Richard has been there for a very long time. And once again, the, the longevity, right? He uh, met Aubrey de Grey, I think in like 2006, something like that, volunteered for the, uh, the, the video editing and, and the filming of one of their videos um, at Sense. And, and now we see that, as I mentioned earlier, for Pulse Chain, he, uh, he incentivized people to do better for the world and to be good people and help humanity out by you know donating to charity and then they would get a tax write-off for doing so and then since pulse chain itself is coming out soon those people that donated to charity they got points um, and they're going to get free pulse once the airdrop and the mainnet itself launches so richard's constantly giving he's constantly providing value and the other cool thing is too is is the people that that talked badly about him, they're really just showing themselves and they're showing their cards of how uh, dishonest they are. Uh, someone like uh, uh, Alex Saunders, he had went on Richard Hart's, this is once again, the, the website that you can go through, but someone like Alex Saunders had, had gone on Richard Hart's stream and they had said, hey, I'm going into the lion's den. Uh, this is one of the people that had really trash talked Hex and really been a, a negative hater against Richard and Hex. And it turns out that Richard exposed who Alex Saunders was and had shared that, hey, you know, these people that are the current influencers and have these different trading groups, they're they're getting people wrecked. And, you know, I don't care what their influence is, whether it's 100,000 followers, a lot of these people do have that kind of gambling addiction. And Richard had showed that, hey, you know, if you're someone that was giving your money to this person, you should really stop because not only are you enabling that person, but you're not getting the good information that someone like Richard is giving away for free. He's literally called the top in 2017. He called the Bitcoin top. And then uh, recently he called the, you know, the top of uh, Bitcoin in 2021. And we're seeing that sure, Bitcoin's going back up a little bit, but until, you know, until the actual price of Bitcoin passes the $65,000, 
then his his narrative and his prediction is still valid. And so a lot of people have uh, have doubted that kind of work and that kind of call in the past, and myself included. When when it happened in 2017, I said, okay, I'm listening to Richard, but uh, you know, I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to believe that it was over. And so I'd held on to my bags, and lo and behold, you know, the uh, the bags had pretty much went down about like 85, 90 percent. And it was at that moment that I was about to just quit crypto because I was done investing all this money that I had, you know, lost on paper and stuff. But it was at that moment that I was about to quit that he said, you know what, screw this. I'm going to make my own cryptocurrency. It's going to be the best cryptocurrency and the best store of value that anyone has ever seen in the world. And I'm going to do it, you know, more successfully than than Bitcoin. I'm going to show my face and not be a Satoshi and be anonymous. He's a he's a leader. And once again, he's a force of good for the world. And we see that with not only the Hexicans, now the Pulsicans too. You know, just so many people uh, realize that this is more than just crypto. Richard had also written a book. This is the last thing I'll say. He had written a book. Uh, so he wrote SciVive and then he wrote another book called Fix the World. And for people that haven't read it, it's for free. You can go to t.me slash SciVive, S-C-I-V-I-V-E, and you can read Fix the World. You can download it for free. Um, but the first line that it said was like, you know, the way that you fix the world is you have to fix the money first. And it's so true. And it's cool to see that not only does Richard have these, uh, you know, these ambitions and these goals, but the end game really is, you know, living longer, living healthier, fixing the world with a lot of the problems that we have, you know, instead of focusing on going to space right now, as some other billionaire, uh, billionaires are, Richard is, is a, a billionaire as well. And he's saying, hey, let's fix what is here. Uh, let's you know get the people healthier. Let's get the people more educated. And that way they can have a similar impact to him if they apply what he is talking about, what he is teaching and the knowledge that he's giving away for free. So that's pretty much all I have. Once again, Richard, thank you, man. I uh, hope to meet you one day in person. I know it'll happen probably eventually. And uh, yeah, man, I've been following you for over four years. And ever since, it's been uh, it's been one hell of a journey. You know, a lot of the people say they might think, right, that the the hexagons that got in early were lucky, but we had we had all gone through so much uh, so much fud, so much slander, not just for Richard, but for a lot of the hexagons as well. And um, to be able to push through that and stand against adversity, it really is that like rags to riches or like that David versus Goliath story. And now we're seeing it that. The hexagons that are OGs now that have retired, thanks to Hex, thanks to Richard's amazing product. Now, you know, we're not leaving as well. You know, we're still making videos. You know, a lot of us are working harder than ever to be able to get back, to be able to leave a legacy as well and, and help other people get to the same level. Because you really only are as strong as your weakest link. And if you can have, you know, the whole world get onboarded to something like Hex, then it can really solve a lot of the problems that are currently going on. So once again, thank you, Richard. You've uh, you've made a huge impact and you continue to do so. So I uh, really appreciate all you do, man. Hope you have a wonderful birthday. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next time. Appreciate all you do. And uh, cheers, Hexicans and cheers, Pulsicans.